After two years of unprecedented heat and low rainfall, dams around Cape Town are starting to look like deserts. Latest reports suggest they are only 10% full. And residents in Cape Town have been urged to reduce their water consumption to 100 litres per person per day. We are asking residents to only use drinking water for essential purposes like bathing, cooking and drinking. And so we're asking residents to please be conscious and mindful of how they consume water both within their households and their places of work because only through collective effort can we stretch out our existing reserves. Many Cape Townians have started supplementing their drinking water by filling up at the natural mountain springs across the city, doing their bit to save every drop. We actually have to restrict a little bit, like with the washing and bathing times. So it's, it's, everything has actually changed. Yeah, so it's quite difficult now. What has been taken for granted for in the past, we all of a sudden, um, we're really conscious of and, and um, we basically just using every last drop to use for our daily lives. It's a big concern. Um, everyone's just praying for rain to come. I mean, that's just, I think, going forward as a reality for the next few years as well. It's not just going to be an overnight solution. If rain comes for a week, it's not going to do anything. So we just have to do the best we can and pull together. Authorities say they've started implementing emergency interventions such as drilling boreholes at schools and hospitals hardest hit by the water scarcity. And they say they'll continue to crack down on those who refuse to comply with the water restrictions. The current crisis also represents an opportunity for us to dramatically shift the, our thinking around how we consume water. The implications of global warming and climate change and drought is going to be an inevitable part of our future and we're going to have to adapt uh, quite innovatively around how we manage those harsh impacts. Rene Dalcom, CGTN, Cape Town, South Africa.